This is I McCloskey again showing off my Call of the Dead. Um, I've added some major things to it, and um, yeah. So let me just okay. What I've added so far was I I fixed the rest of the um, perk machines so that they work now, like. You saw my last video, go like that. Guess the power must be off or something. Um, so, yes. That is one of the major things. And the other major thing is I added all the doors, as you can see here. That instead of stone would be replaced by a feather that you got by killing a zombie and you would throw it on there um, I wanted to you know be a pioneer in all of this you know like make doors that you have to pay for um, but it comes with a twist because you only have to pay one feather to open the door it only lasts for five minutes before you have to repay for it um, yeah oh yep see it just closed so just throw it on and then they open um and I added um, the flipper See, this is the only sort of difficult one so I'm just gonna go ahead and fix that and make it so it's only one block high and you can just throw it in and then this is everything you saw before and I've added some see look this is like the inner workings essentially it's just a double door and it's really confusing um, Since the power interfered with the hallway, I had to make some steps there. That's like, I, I, I hoped I didn't have to do that, but I'll try and fix it sometime. But, um, see, sometimes you can throw it over, too. Um, so we come over here, and this is Flipper. It just... It's just like the zip lines, only it takes you over to where the flipper normally takes you. Which is over by the lighthouse. Um. And. Since I didn't really know what to do with the perk machines. I have made most of them. Like, the only ones that I could make the same. And Flopper isn't even really the same. What Flopper does is it gives you a, um, um, it gives you a flint and steel because, you know, when you flop, it makes an explosion. So that's the best I could think of without using TNT, which would ruin the map. Um, Juggernaut uses, um, tunics, leather tunics, and Quick Revive uses golden apples. But what I what what I couldn't do was I didn't know what to do for double tap. Um, see, the stamina is the only. It's like the weird one. I I made it give leather boots because you know you run faster with them. So. Um, so for the, most of the other ones, I uh, just put I made it so that like with Dead Eye, I made it so that it dispenses a a um, bow and arrow, but you have to collect the arrows from a chest that's nearby. So I did that for a lot of them. I did that first. Um, I did it for side of hand. I did it for dead eye, double tap. You know. So um, this is the random box. You see. Um, so what you do is you get your feather and you plop it in there. And out comes a weapon. In this, in this case, I got a wooden axe. 
and see what it, what it is, is it's a dispenser because it randomly throws out something that's in it. So this is everything in my dispenser. And all that's over here is water, which goes two blocks, and then there's a wooden pressure plate, and they're connected by a redstone. Um, let me just run over to my Pack-a-Punch on the other side of the map. Um, see, like, this is what I did for um, side of hand. So you just, wow, and it pops it out. Um, apparently it doesn't want to work right now. So, I'll, I'll get on that. Um, so we come over here, and I've added some more detail to the actual map itself. Um, Pack-a-Punch is over where the Juggernaug is. And it's the same thing, only you throw in your weapon and it either throws out, you know, it can be good to bad because not all weapons are, like, ray gun, pack-a-punched. Awesome. So, what's in here is, um, iron sword, diamond, a lot of diamond swords, a diamond axe, and a golden sword. And a golden sword is like, you know, since it's like not that good, but it's represented to be something good, like, so it's safe for something. Um, it's like a bad gun upgraded, essentially. Um, so we come over here. See, there we go. That one works. Um, So, that's essentially all I did for the update. I added all of the doors, and I added um, more of the perk machines and stuff. Also, if you want to download my map, there is a certain Easter egg somewhere on the map. You may not find it. But again, if you want, if you want the map, it's for free and everything. You just have to tell me how to set up the download. And so, yeah, that's basically it. My next goal is to be working on the zombie spawners. I know that's a pig spawner because I haven't gotten a mod to uh, be able to change the stuff. So, that is the next step. Adios.